I feel good, good, good. I feel good, oh yes, my Lord, because there's something about the Spirit of Jesus that makes me feel good, good, good. I feel joy, joy, joy. I feel joy, oh yes, my Lord, because there's something about the Spirit of Jesus that makes me feel joy, joy, joy. I feel love, love, love. I feel love, oh yes, my Lord, because there's something about the Spirit of Jesus that makes me feel love. Love, love, I feel peace, 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 I feel peace, oh yes my Lord, because there's something about the Spirit of Jesus that makes me feel peace, 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 I feel good, 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 I feel good, oh yes my Lord, Cause there's something about the Spirit of Jesus That makes me feel good, good, good Because there's something about the Spirit of Jesus That makes me feel good, good, good Because there's something about the Spirit of Jesus That makes me feel good, good Good morning, friends. My name is Jasmine Lazarus. I'm one of the teen leaders here at the church. Today, I am super excited, and I hope you are too, because today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite parables in the Bible, and it's called The Farmer Scattering the Seed. But before we jump into that, I want to ask, do you know what a parable is? If you don't, no worries. I was also in that position before. In short, a parable is a short lesson that usually teaches us a spiritual lesson. Now that we have that definition, let's grab our Bibles and turn to Mark chapter 4, starting in verses 1. And it reads, Once upon a time, Jesus began teaching by the lake shore. A very large crowd soon gathered around him, so he got into a boat. Then he sat in the boat while all the people remained on the shore. He taught them by telling many stories in the form of parables, such as this one. Listen! A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seed sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the sun and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among the thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants so they produced no grain. Still, other seeds fell on fertile soil, and they sprouted, grew, and produced crop that was 30, 60, and even 100 times as much as it has been planted. Now, if you were just like one of Jesus' followers here, they didn't understand what Jesus was trying to say in this message. So they asked him, Jesus, what did you mean? And we keep reading on in verses 14, Jesus tells us exactly what he meant in this passage. He states in verses 14, the farmer plants seeds by taking God's word to others. So we can see the seed represents God's word or the Bible. He then goes on to say, the seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message only to have Satan to come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they have no deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as problems come and are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life, the lure of wealth, and the desire for things so there is no fruit produced. And the seed that fell on good soul represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as has been planted. Wow, 
what an amazing story that Jesus told us. You know, we can see and learn from that this message, Jesus really wants us to be close to him. He wants us to hold tight onto the word. In fact, I challenge you all to not only just be reading your Bibles, making sure you're hearing and listening um, and holding on to God's word really tight and memorizing scriptures. In fact, I actually have a memory scripture for you all this week. Let's turn to James chapter one, starting in verses 22. And it reads, but don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourselves. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this lesson just as much as I did. And I hope that we can all be like the good soul. And that way we can produce as many fruit as possible. Let's pray to God. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we are so grateful for today. And God, we are so grateful for your word. God, help us to see things how you see them, to love people how you love them, God. And also, God, help us to have a good soul and help us, God, to know and seek your ways throughout everything we go through. God, we love you so much, and we are so grateful for this time to be together, God, and we look forward to many more. We pray all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's it, my friends. We will see you all hopefully next Sunday. Bye.